So doing a tabbing challenge or running with a really heavy backpack challenge isn't the most sensible list of ideas. The fan dance is a grueling 24K SAS selection test march over Penny Fan, the highest mountain in the Brecon Beacons. When I open the fan dance load bearing instructions and welcome email, it starts with probably the best sentence I have ever read. Prior planning and preparation prevents piss poor performance. I definitely need a t-shirt that says this. This saying is probably one of the best things I have ever heard. So with one of my new favorite sayings still ringing in my head, I'm gonna start the prep now. The planning already started several months ago when I first did that first ruck march or tab march. I learned so much from the mistakes I made on that. If nothing else, this event is gonna be one of the best prepared for ones I have ever entered into. This event is gonna be next level preparation. So the second lesson I learned from my previous tabbing attempt is that a decent backpack is essential. The one I bought off Amazon wasn't fit for purpose and completely destroyed my shoulders. Even though this was advertised as ideal for rucking, it really, really isn't. It just wasn't fit for the purpose that I needed it for, which was to carry 45 pounds of weight over a long way. I'm not gonna be using that anymore. So I have invested in a decent backpack that I saw heavily recommended online. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. I'm gonna pack it now on camera, ready for my second ever tab. This is the backpack. And I'm gonna be completely honest with you, this looks phenomenal. Okay. I've got the old mic connected up for this. So God knows where all you're getting is bag noise, but this bag, this bag is the real deal. Not sure how far I'm gonna go today. I'm gonna try and see if I can do 10 miles. I have about 40 pounds on my back. I had a bit of difficulty with the hydration system, started running and it slipped out the side. So I had to stop briefly to fix that. So that's gonna take some time off. The other thing I need to do that I've noticed already is I need to tie off or tape up these straps because they're annoying. Hello, pussycat. Hello. Time will tell, but I feel properly over the moon with this bag. It's high up on my shoulders which should give me some respite on my shoulders. It should help. Anyway. I fixed the hydration system. So that's properly tied down now. If you can see it there on top of the pack. So when I'm doing the fan dance where there's water stations, I'm able to stop and refill it if I need to. Remember I'm doing this in the middle of July. So I need to make sure I stay hydrated. going up a small gradient. Nothing compared to the monstrosity I'm gonna to have to climb on the fan dance. But this is the only road around my house that has any kind of incline. So we're 5K or three miles into this hike or run or tab or ruck. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep going, keep pushing. Uh, still feel alright, feel good. This, this backpack, unbelievable. So good. Oh, what a difference money makes. Jesus. There are some things you can save on, but the damage that backpack with those dead weights did to my back and to my shoulders. I just, you know, the fan dance isn't the only thing I'm doing this year. I just don't want it to kibosh me. And I need my arms. Forget about the running, I need my arms for Zwift. So an investment 
into a decent backpack. And if I told you the price, you'd switch the video off now. So I'm not gonna tell you the price, but you can Google it. They're not cheap. I'm not endorsed by the company, by the way, which is why I'm not saying the name of it 500 times in this video. This is a backpack which, when I read reviews, there were two names that just kept coming up over and over. And I must have spent hours, hours, watching videos, reading forum posts. Um, I must have subscribed to about 15 different newsletters. In the end, I went for this thing. And the frame, it has a frame. It keeps the backpack high up on my shoulders rather than it putting down in the middle. Obviously, packing it the way I packed it has made a huge difference and it's not pulling me back. I don't feel like I need to hunch over, which is how I did with the other, I was like this. I mean, it feels like I'm carrying weight, but yeah, perfect. Really good, really happy with it. I just need to iron out all of the idiosyncrasies, all of the things that are an annoyance. Straps, tighten them up, you know, tie off the loose straps, loose ends, so they don't whip me in the face when a, when a gust of breeze comes along. Hydration, so I just want to mention the camelback this is a game changer so being able to strap it to the top of the bag means that i'm able to stop and replenish it without having to dig into the bag game changer that's how i like to run that's how i run all my ultras yeah we're still running uphill so i'm going to keep going get to the five mile mark and turn around Okay, good news, loads of good news. Bag's holding up well, hydration's working really well. Uh, and we're coming up to the halfway mark where I get to turn around and run back. <sighs> yeah, so we're just coming up to the eight and a half K mark. back and that should get us to 10 miles some of the things that have improved this cabin my attempt at packing it properly it has made such a difference so i'm carrying about 40 pounds at the moment in my back on the day that number will probably be, hang on, where am I going this way? Will probably be closer to 45 pounds, which, as I've mentioned already, when I eventually get my poncho, my food rations, and my emergency bivvy in there, that will get me up to the 45 pound mark. So today's been a really good test. I mean, it's bloody heavy. I'm not going to lie, this has been a proper workout for the legs. I can feel it. I've pretty much run this whole half. Obviously I've stopped a couple of times to take selfies, but other than that, I've just done this run shuffle thing I'm doing now, 
the whole way and uh, I can feel it. There's no way at, what am I coming up to, 9K? If I was running this without any weight or even just carrying my hydration vest, there's no way I'd be feeling anything. But I feel comfortable. That's the difference. At this point, on my first attempt with the other backpack, my shoulders were dying. I was having to run like this to get it off my shoulders. Yeah. Now, happily, running relatively straight up, which makes a difference to muscles that you're using. Because if you're running or even walking differently, you change how your feet hit the ground, which will give you blisters. You change the muscles you're using in your legs and in your lower back, which will give you, best case scenario, leg ache or back ache, worst case scenario, an injury, which considering I've got big events coming up, I want to avoid injury at all costs. So doing a tabbing challenge or running with a really heavy backpack challenge isn't the most sensible list of ideas when it comes to avoiding injury, especially carrying something like this up a whopping great mountain. But it's fun and it's a bloody hard challenge that I want to overcome. And it's something I want to be able to say, I did and I enjoy it. Right, let's get back because the fan want to go to the cinema this evening and I need to have a shower. I just dinked off the microphone. This is hard work with one hand. This is the game changer, this. Being able to do that and not have to keep faffing around. I mean, obviously I've got to try not to knock the mic off. Just keep going. <laughs> There's a bird of prey there. There's two of them. On the wind. Wow. about 500 meters from my front door. I'm just coming up on 10 miles now. If you found value in this video, if you enjoyed it in any way, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment. I really appreciate that. <sighs> Helps my channel a lot. If you didn't enjoy this video and you didn't see any value in it, I appreciate you staying this long into the video. Yeah, 10 miles done with the Crossfire DG3 backpack, new backpack and the Camelback hydration pack. Really happy with that. There's some small things on the back. Part of my debrief is I need to tighten up some of these straps. This one here in particular isn't as tight as this one. So it meant the bag was slightly skewed on one side. Not the end of the world, didn't make any difference. Shoulders are fine. I've got no pain whatsoever after running, running in it as well, 
the fact that I've got zero pain, zero, is phenomenal. I'm hydrated, which is always a bonus. I feel like I've done a proper workout. I can feel every muscle in my legs. I'm gonna keep practicing with this. I might try and see if I can squeeze one ruck or one tab in a week. Thank you for watching this video. See you in next week's one.